remember back when I first warned you about the horrors of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde on NES? Well, there were a few other games I mentioned there. They're just, you know, rare, obscure games, like, you know, Mick Kids or uh, Taxman or whatever. What the hell is Taxman? I didn't even know what the hell I was talking about. I had too much to drink. What I meant to say was Wall Street Kid, a game about the stock market. Who would ever want to play a game like that? But it just so happens, by some fucking coincidence, there actually is a game called Taxman for the Apple II computer. I've heard that there's nothing much to this game, it's just a Pac-Man clone. I figured that probably means that it's a game that's very similar to Pac-Man. I was wrong. By clone, they meant an exact copy. It's Pac-Man. Have you played Pac-Man? Then you play Taxman without even knowing it. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about something that I've feared since the beginning. Those little Tiger, like, electronic wrist games, those are better than Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Have we gotten to that point now? Is it time to scrape the bottom of the toilet bowl of the whole video game industry? Yeah, it's time to talk about Tiger games. Since the advent of video games, the idea of portable games was a novel concept, like the Nintendo Game & Watch series. Everybody liked the idea of being able to bring a game with you wherever you go. There were many examples, but none so common as the Tiger handheld games. They used the most primitive technology possible. The graphics, if you can even call them graphics, 